We recently released a feature in Kittle giving you the ability to stretch elements and illustrations any way you want to. Previously, they were all scalable equally. If you grabbed one of the corners and tried to make something big or small, it would just all be equal. But now, people really wanted the ability to kind of go crazy and warp and stretch things. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's just one key. It's going to make the whole difference. So let's look at how to do it right now. Okay, so like I mentioned already, we can stretch elements and illustrations now. So let's start easily with things like oh, maybe a banner. Let's go with this. So now if I size this up a little bit, I can hold the shift key and drag one of these points to be as crazy stretched inward or stretched outward as I want. I can make it a little bit thinner, super, super fat, thick upwards if I want. And that's an easy way to do it. All you have to do is hold shift. Let's go over to illustrations and see how we can do something like that with maybe this, this element. Maybe we want the tree a little bit wider. Boom, easy. All I did was hold the shift. Now, if I let go of shift, of course, it's going to continue scaling up and down equally. But it also applies to things like our detailed animals. If for whatever reason you wanted this bear longer somehow or, or, or thinner or, or what have you, you can do it easily. And so this also this applies to everything in here, but it also applies to things like our ornaments and frames, which I know a lot of people were wanting to do. So now with corner pieces and things like that, you can stretch them forward, you can make them thinner, you can make them uh, thin like this, and it can apply as well to all of our elements uh, this way as well if you're trying to fill those spaces of course just be careful because sometimes they're just going to be <laughs> completely uh, not what you want you're not probably going to go for something super super thin uh, when the element has kind of already been crafted at the correct proportions but again like I mentioned already things like these frames are a perfect example because sometimes you might have a layout where you just want it to fit but if you're scaling it up sometimes it just doesn't work well now you can hold shift and you can just drop it down a little bit to be at the correct area and so let's look at an example like that so let's actually go back over to text I'm going to scroll down and if I scroll through these badges here these pre-made badges I like this one a lot it's the handcrafted fair trade I'm going to make this a little bit bigger by the way if you hold the alter option key and click then it will scale perfectly inwardly and outwardly for you just like that now let's go back over to elements let's go to the ornaments and let's find a frame that might work on the outside of this and so to prepare for that let's zoom in for a little bit and I'm gonna get rid of this outer border so if I click this let's get rid of that because I'm gonna exchange that border with one over here in this panel so let's click show all and let's find one that is gonna work now I want one that's already a rectangle and one that would work outwardly. So I like this one. Yeah, that one looks really cool. I think it's going to work perfectly to be on the outside. See, if I already place it kind of like this, you can see um, that it's going to work on the outside of this pre-existing label. So if I grab this, I'm going to hold shift, by the way, and you can turn things in e increments of 15. You can see it goes from 15 to 30. And so, boom, let's go like this. So now I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it in the center here. And as I hold the alter option key and drag, I'm making it on the outside but as you can see here it's just way too big it's there's all the space up here and all the space on the bottom and it's just not gonna work so now what I can do is hold the shift key I can click this and drag it to be closer to the side of this uh, this pre-existing label and so I'll do the same thing for the top here bring it down of course you can see it's starting to stretch and slightly warp the the, uh, the little tips here they're getting a little bit fat and that's just gonna happen so always keep that in mind and I'm gonna just make sure I, I adjust this properly and then we can start working with our colors things like where this light blue is uh, maybe would look cool in the dark green and then as well as this teal might also look cool in the dark green and then in just a matter of seconds I kind of created this this other label effect and I think that looks really cool now of course it's a little bit different like I said these little points are a little bit wider so these are things to think about when you go in and start stretching elements but all you have to do as I mentioned before is just hold that shift key and you can do whatever you want with all the illustrations elements and ornaments inside Kittle so I hope you have a ton of fun with that
So that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to see more cool tips and tricks using Kittle, go ahead and check out this playlist or video here on my right. I know you're going to enjoy those. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Even share this video with other people, other designers you think would get benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, create magic.